Okay, so we are currently on the auction zip website right now. And I'm going to go to my account because I am currently participating in an auction that isn't really going that smoothly. Let me show you what I'm currently bidding on. So I have 14 items on this online auction right here. Now, let me first say that I do not normally do auctions online. I do mostly in person ones, but I've been doing not as many of them lately, even the in-person ones. So <laughs> I tried getting these Kelvin. They're known as the Kelvin by uh, Meekin, Edward Meekin, I believe. And that's not an area that I'm usually, it's Alfred, Alfred Meekin. That's not an area that I'm usually like really into. That's flow blue. I know that there's a lot of collectibleness behind that. And these plates are in very nice shape. They're little butter pats. And the bid is up to $95 for the nine of them, which if you're a collector is a great price, but for resale, it has me a little bit questionable on that. I think they would sell for as much as $30, $35 on the high end each because of the condition. And this is based on solds historic sold data from WorthPoint, which is what I'm using to cross-reference these items. And if you're interested in WorthPoint, I do have a link in the description to use it. I do pay for it. And so it's a service that you pay for, but you can look at like, I think the last 10 years or so, maybe it's seven or eight, somewhere in there of sold listings. I know on eBay, you can look back at like a couple months, but that's not always helpful if it's a rare item, but I've been using it. And for this, I think I would just have to pass on these on these butter pads. Um, I could probably lot them together and sell them off. I just don't have enough experience with it, and I just don't know how much, like what the collectible market is behind them. And for $95 plus a 15% buyer's fee, which is unfortunate. A lot of auctions that you go to in person, they don't have a buyer's premium. This auction house is known for their buyer's premium. And I generally stay away from this particular auction company because the stuff goes higher than I like to pay, but they have really great stuff. So these butter pads, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on them as much as I thought I could get a great deal early on. Uh, I can't do it. I just, I know they're probably worth every bit of 95 and then some, it's just, I don't have the experience selling that particular kind of antique. I was trying to get these paperweights here, and they are St. St. Clair art glass paperweights. So I'm um, also outbid on this one. I haven't decided if I'm going to go in again on this one, but keep in mind it's $20 right now plus a 15% buyer's premium, and I would have to bid at least, I think, $25 to break that bid. They have $5 increments, which is another thing that's kind of annoying, but what it is. So it would have to be $25 plus then another 15% buyer's premium. And I'm sure it's not going to just be $25 to break the bid. Uh, I don't know what the other people have in there as their max. So I might not be able to get the paperweights. And as paperweights go, you know, I could maybe sell each one of those. It's St. St. Clair, you know, maybe about $30 each. So about $60 into them. You're spending 20 plus the 15% buyer's premium. It's hardly getting worth it at that point. Next item here, I'm also outbid. I put in a genuine, genuous, genuous, generous, a generous bid of $25 for the pair. As cool as they are, they don't really sell for a ton. Not much more than like 20 bucks each. Next thing I'm outbid on is a Murano art glass vase. This is from Murano, Italy. It's blown glass. It has the Millie Fiori little flowers in it. It's really pretty shade of pink. I, I may still bid up on this one. This is one that I still might. I'm holding back on bidding until we get much closer to the cutoff, which is actually at nine o'clock tonight. So we've got like six plus hours. So what? Why does it say 5 p.m.? Are there different cutoffs? I just noticed that. No, it says 5 p.m. I'll have to look into that because I'm now I'm confused. I thought it was 9 p.m. 
well, this vase here, I might explore. I have to look again on worth point. We, we may do that in just a bit, but I want to get through the rest of these with you. Now, this is something that I have no experience selling, but I know Bakelite is collectible. And this pin right here, it's a, it's a pin you could clip onto yourself. I don't really see it. You know, I do see horse pins on worth points and solds, and they do pretty well, but I've not seen one like this with the horseshoe. So that made me want to bid on this one, and I did my max bid at $55, which is quite a bit. I'll show you what those are selling for and things like it once we get through this list. So I may, depending on what I see on that uh, horseshoe, I may bid some more on there. Then we have this one here. This is another one that's not seen. I'm currently the high bidder on this one. So I put $55 max on this one and $55 max on the other one. This one here is interesting because it has the two horseshoes, or the two shoes, boots, that are behind it. And that's something you don't usually see also. Plus the color is really cool. This amber, amberina, orange, red combo. Very, very cool in the bake light. And then I also bid on this deer, the big light deer. Deer are popular. There were some other big light options in this auction, but I was very selective. I was trying to find ones that I thought were really, really cool. So I put 30 on this. I'm outbid at 30. I don't think I'm going to go much higher. I put in for these two plates because they're cool. They're sticks, batter, soup bowls, Belgium. And I put in a bid for $10. I'm not going to up that. I just put in the bid because I think they're really cool. They're hand painted. It's a pair of two. You can do some cool things with them because they're plates, decorate with them. Actually, the bowls. You could do cool things with them because they're bowls. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it there. That's one of those things where um, either way. This, these here, I'm actually surprised I still have my bid in. Two Murano art glass birds. So $20, I don't think I'm going to go much higher than that on these either. I could probably sell each bird for maybe just shy of $30 plus shipping. And that's the price that I want to pay to get there. Um, so we'll leave it at that. The two Murano glass birds. I also put a bid in on the beaded clutch or the beaded handbag. And it has this very deco 20s look to it to me with the fringe bottom. It's really pretty. You can see there with the flowers. and So I put in a bid at $15. These tend to go for about $50 uh, on a good day, if you're lucky, <laughs> depending on the condition. And without looking it over, I don't feel much better about going more than $15 on it. And uh, yeah, so I just think it's pretty. Now this next one here is like, my heart is like, oh, so ah. we have a Lotus Ware two-handled thing here. I was hoping so much I was going to be able to keep my bid in, but I was outbid. So for the longest of time, this was going for $25. I'm okay with going higher than that, but I'm mad that I got outbid. So I need to double check this again, really consider what my, my top price is going to be for this Lotus Ware vase. They sell for about, and that's where it gets a little tricky. It, they could sell for a couple hundred to $300, maybe even more, depending on how much is going on with it, how many applied pieces there are to it. This one is just a formed vase with hand-painted detailing gilted handles so and there's no chips or cracks that's where i'm like i i don't want to go i would like to stay i think my final top price will be like 120 but uh i don't think i'm going to put any bids in on these things until we get like five minutes before they close just so i can kind of snipe those out at the end i don't like to you know if this is a game i gotta play it the best i can so i'll try that here we have some four glass gobel figurine animals. I put in a bid at $10. That's all I'm going to pay for them. I think they're pretty cool, but, you know, it's just one of those things. I could probably sell each one of those for $15 to $20 each, depending on them. And again, I don't think there's chips or cracks on those. So for what they are, I'm okay with $10. If I lose it, I lose it. This next item here I really want, so we will see about that. 
currently bid, there's a currently a bid in at $25, which is my bid, but I have a max put in at 35. So that'll auto increment up if it needs to. But this is something very different that I've never really dealt with before. It's granite ware, but it's in the form of a butter dish. Very interesting, and it has the metal knife. So I think it'll do really well. These look like they sell for about $60 to $80, somewhere in there, based on my memory on them. And I like, I just like the whole thing. It's very cool looking. I think, oh, this one here, I've got to have. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. So it's hand-painted in a pond. It's a scenic vase. It has the double handles with the gold gilding. Hand-painted scenery on there. It's so pretty. This is another item that I really want. I don't think I'm going to spend more than 20 bucks on it, though. It should sell for about 40 plus shipping. So it's just one of those things where I've not been able to buy something like this before, so that's why I want to get it. This is as common as Nippon is. I still find value in it, and it's this whole 1920s era thing. We're in 2020, so it has that going for it. I just think it's beautiful. So now I'm going to switch things up, and I'm going to go look at Worth Point with you. All right, the first thing we're going to do is look up these Kelvin Butter Pats by Alfred Meekin. So here we are in Worth Point. Down here at the bottom of the screen, we'll type in Alfred Meekin Kelvin Butter. What it says. Okay. So here we are with the butter packs. So they are, let me sort these by, oh, they are by sale date. That's what I tend to go by is the sale date so I can see the most recent solds. Right over here we have these are for the backs. We're looking at the backs apparently. $30, $30. These are apparently excellent condition. Let's see what the front looks like. Okay. So these are probably in line with the ones that we have. So I would say that about $30 each at the most. Now, if I go back and take a look at the rest of those, you know, we, we some people priced them at $12.50. They could have had issues, I'm sure. I don't really see anything more than like $30 a plate for a butter pack. I mean, there's here's one for 39, near something, maybe near perfect, but that was in 2016. We're getting like older and older here, but still around $30 each. Okay, so you know what are you gonna do? What's the math on that one? Could we could we could we spend $20 tops with the fee? Yes, but you know you could maybe make $100 on that which is still money. Let me see here. 20 times, we were to spend $20 each times nine. Okay, so we could potentially spend up to $180 and be okay with that. But I don't feel comfortable spending that much money on plates to resell them. So bid's currently at, why don't I put down on my paper here? I've got a, like a little running list. I could do my, my max at 120 that seems like a lot, I know. 120 for those, and that's with like all the fees, and that'll that, that that's a number that I'll feel okay about. Yeah. Okay. So the, the next item up, we're actually going to look at the St. Clair paperweights. These are something that you know I could have or I I couldn't, but I want to double check what's going on with St. Clair paperweights. St. Clair paperweights. Did I spell that wrong? C-L-A-I-R. That's right. Okay, so we're going by sale date. First up, $10. That's not promising. Uh, lots of random things. Okay, so here we are. It has a cool owl in the middle of it. So here's just like a floral, $15, $15, $50. That's pretty. Vintage Joe St. Clair Coral Colored Trumpet. Okay. Trumpet. A lot of these are around the $15 to $20 mark. Let me go to page two. There's a lot of solds just that are recent. You know, we're all in 2020 right now. $18. Oh, wait a minute. They're calling these bookends. Now, see these right here? This reminds me of one of them, doesn't it? 
No, eh, kind of. There's a lot of controlled bubbles in here. That's what that's called whenever you see the little bubbles. Try to justify art glass. It's sort of specific. Every one of them is different. You know, we got $26. We got $50 here. Second. Why does it say second? Let's click on this one. I'm just very curious. Second, St. Clair paperweight lamp heart. Oh, it's a lamp heart. Okay. That changes things. It's a specific piece for a lamp. Oh boy. So it looks like the very interesting ones with like a detail inside or some unique coloring can go for 30, maybe a little bit more. Do we have some more of these? I just don't know. You know, like what's going on with this? Aquamarine. It has interesting pink in the inside. They're, these are they're bookends, they're calling them. Five inches tall? What are these? These aren't five inches tall. Oh, really? There's no description. There's no uh, dimensions on it. Okay. Let's think about this. So I could probably sell each one of those for about $25, realistically, plus shipping. That's $50. It's currently at 20. I just can't get excited about that. I really can't. Like I said earlier about the price. Okay, these, I'm skipping them. Here we have the Murano vase. Murano pink, Millie, I forget how to spell this every time. Fiori vase. Yeah, and I did. Oh, did you mean? Yeah, I did. I did mean that. Okay, so these look nothing like what we've got. This has so much detail and color in it for 135. The one that we're looking at is very pink. It does have some cool color in it, but it's nothing substantial. Um, this is very similar, kind of. It has the striations going through it with the random bursts of Millie Fiori spirals yeah that's very similar that one sold for about 11216 it's currently at 30 35 okay i'm going to put in a top bid on that one if i wanted to stay with it for $45 that is all in price including their fees let's go into this bake light though because this is something that is completely different it is a horse head in a horseshoe. So we're going to type in red bake light horse shoe pin. Maybe we can find it this way. All right. Like, look at this. Look at this one, just of the head. $103. I should probably take out red because it could be different colors and yet sold the same form and that might kind of give us a better idea. Let's change that to just big light. There we are at 197 results. Okay. Butterscotch. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Look at this butterscotch right here in the corner. 139. That's the same exact form in 2018 is when it sold. So you would not be able to find this on eBay anymore because it's a couple years old. Horse head. Oh boy. All right. So I was thinking that this being red, it could sell for about 145 ish. And it's up to sixty dollars, and it's in a it's in a category that I don't know, that I'm not like that familiar in. So that's why my fifty five dollar price point was sort of, you know, it was taken. That was me taking a chance on something. Let me click into this and show you the, the pictures. So here it is. There's the back of it. 
No. They have the size of this. I don't see any cracks or anything on it. Um, you know, let's see here. Max bid $55. I'm going to put in a max bid of $60. Whatever, plus their fee, okay? And if I can't get it for that, then I'm okay. Uh, these are numbers I'm just jotting down now, but I'll fill them in like as we get a few minutes before this auction closes in apparently four hours. Okay, then there's the boots and the shoe one. Oh, I forgot what it was. It was you know what? I'm going to stay with that price. I, I'm i okay. And then the deer one. This one has interesting color. And from my memory and looking this up before, it, uh, it's, it's not really a color combination you usually see. Big light deer pin. Right. Got greyhound dogs. Those are cool. Here's what we're going to do. I'm not finding a lot. We're going to change this to high to low. And see what comes up. Oh, look at that jumping reindeer. That's cool. Weird. This one has those kind of floppy ears at 225 on that one. That was in 2016. Going from high to low is kind of interesting sometimes. You can see some neat things, rare items. Look at that deer. I'm not seeing anything like the one that is currently for sale, even though the coloring is really cool. This is the problem I had before, and I could not come up with a good price for it. Hmm. Because of that, it makes me just very apprehensive. Like all the, all the ones that we keep seeing are like this butterscotch color. And this is going from high to low. So we're at the high end of things right now. And I'm seeing a lot of this cream. Uh, oh, right here. Here it is, right here, exactly. Bake light, two-tone, $77. That was in 2007. Okay, so let's just say, let's just say maybe we can get 80 bucks out of it. And it's at 30, I was at bed. Yeah, see, that's, I don't want to go much more than that for that. So. I'm okay to lose that one. Those were okay with the Murano birds. You know what? I was going to try to figure out a better price on those, but I'm just going to hang it out right there. The purse, I'm okay with. Just whatever that goes for. The lotus wear. Okay. Here's the one that I've got to get serious about. Lotus wear. We're going to go high to low on this one first, like it's set at. And you can see some of these outrageous prices. So the ones that are the most expensive, except for this, because this, that, that's a pair, all these applied ones. So it's the body of, this, of the piece with all the applied ornamentation to it. Those are expensive. And you can notice the body of it's the same body that we had on the other, including, look right here, no painting is on it, it looks like, unless that's the back. Let's click into this one. That's the same form, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But that handle is beautiful. Yeah, that's so strange. This sold for $247 and there's no paint on it. Okay. That's all there is, nine listings. Oh, let's try Lotus Space Wear Vase. Okay, 842. Silly me. Actually, I think there was a brand on this. I'll click into it. There was a mark on the bottom for K. AJ. AJK. G. I cannot read K. Let's try. I'm. Uh, yeah, that's not right. Here, we're going to go back to best match. You can find something with ATK, hey, nose tailor. Oh, nose tailor nose. So that's what the exact other one was. That's what it was in KTK. Yeah, the tailor 
are the nose, Taylor, and Knowles. Interesting. Ah, there's another one, 256. Okay. So we're going to type in KTK. Great, 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 great. And now we're going to go by sale date. I want to see recent solds. Nineteen. Oh, look at all that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the vases, 490, 600. Those aren't really like what we got though. 95, 870. Ooh, yikes. All right, so I was looking more into the vase. And I think I have decided, I think I have decided that it can sell for about 250 up to 300. So I looked through pretty much all of these off camera. And there's only about 90 of them sold within the last, you know, eight plus years. So I feel pretty strong about it. You know, this one right here is nothing's applied. It has an interesting handle, yes, but it sort of is in the, in the same color scheme and it has the painted flowers on it, gold gilled. Uh, this one here, for instance, similar handle structure, painted 213. But no, I'm thinking what I've got can sell for about 250 plus. So I am going to put in a max bid of $130 and I'll leave it at that. I think that's well fair to pay for this at auction, 130 quite a bit, but I kind of want it. So emotional purchase a little bit here. It's very different. Now, the last thing I do want to look up is the granite butter, little butter thingamajigger. Look at this though, I'm, look at that. Look at the paint on that. This portion here, it's just there. And the, in the front, look at the, wow. So yes, I will put that bit in as we draw closer. I don't wanna give myself away. Okay, and then here's the butter. Then the, the, I said before, the Nippon thing, I'm kinda of just gonna hang out. I hope to get it, but if, if it goes for more than that, too bad. So then we got the granite where butter butter dish does it have a maker no i don't see that let's see here granite we're going to type in granite and pewter granite and pewter butter dish. not many come up okay here's a set right up front two hundred dollars we don't have a set here's a single for a hundred here's a single more recent 451, but it does not have the knife. I think that's useful. I think this is going to be about a $75 to $100 item, depending. Depending on what, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's depending on the market. So $35, I think that's about the most I want to spend. Hmm. Do I want to up that at all, though? You know, it's a about a hundred dollar item at, at the most. I want to leave some room in there just in case. I haven't seen it up close. I it, think it's perfect though. It says with butter knife. Oh boy. It's clean. It looks very clean. Shows age. You can see that though. I think 35 is as much as I want to go on this, to be honest. But I will wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.